Hi, I've just been chatting to a mum and I thought I'd share this with you about the fact that her son really doesn't want to revise for his exams, his mocks coming up and then his GCSEs in the summer. Um, his logic is, why is he ever going to need any of this stuff? And for some of what he says, he has a very valid point. But obviously that's not going to help him pass his exams. So we need to kind of like think of a means of um, trying to engage him so that he does revise. And she has spoken to the school and asked for some videos that he can watch and things that he can interact with on the computer because he's not the sort of person who's going to want and go through, wants to sit and go through um, textbooks or his old notes or anything like that. It's got to be something that's going to be more engaging for him. And I normally kind of say, well, try and um, encourage the child into, try, normally try and encourage the child to do something that they are going to find um, beneficial, something that they enjoy, something that they enjoy. So I would often kind of like say something like, um, if they enjoy using the computer, ask them to create a presentation that they could share with others who are learning, their peers or whoever, a younger sibling or whatever. Um, if they enjoy drawing and being creative, then get them to create posters and stuff like that. Anything which is really going to um, inspire them to actually make a start. But the thing is, for some children, that isn't going to be enough because if you can like think, well, it's pointless. Why would I want to do that? Why are they going to want to do that? You're, you're not going to make any progress. And the thing is, as adults, we look on these issues differently because we've got the benefit of life we can see the repercussions of not trying when you're 15 but when you're 15 the prospect of it affecting you when you're 25 35 45 is just too incom incomprehensible because it's too far into the distance that's not my problem today and at 15 I pretty much live for today so we have to try and think of another means that we can use to um, entice them in if you like and um, with this particular mum, I suggested that she does it so that she asks him to help her. So can I look, I've been asked to do this for work um, and I don't understand it. Please, can if you've got five minutes, please, can you explain this to me? Um, and it works for her because she works with kind of like the Clara James and so kind of like tutoring and stuff. It, you may have to think of a different way to bring it in for what you do but um he's probably more than willing to help her he probably wouldn't want to sit down for 10 minutes and revise with her he probably wouldn't want to sit down for 10 minutes and revise at all but he probably the type of lad that he is he's a lovely lad really warm-hearted so if his mum asked for help he would probably be more than willing to help her so um sometimes by repositioning the issue rather than kind of saying look this is something you've got to do because otherwise in 10 20 30 years time you're going to regret it can't get your head around that idea whereas if you can like say look I'm stuck with something do you mind helping me I said to her make sure she does the writing because this isn't his revision this is you needing help so this needs to be your work that he's just helping you with so address it from that angle rather than um sorry battery's about to go flat Rather than the fact that, that's it. Rather than the fact that you're doing him a favor because you're revising with him, this is purely him doing you a favor, helping to explain something to you that without his help, you're going to struggle with or without your child's help, you're going to struggle with. I don't know if that's an idea you can adapt and use yourself. Um, and she was also kind of like saying about the fact that um, if you don't do revision then you won't get to play on the playstation or whatever and i said what i wouldn't probably do it like that i would probably do it more the fact that if you just do half an hour's revision now you can spend as much time on the playstation for the rest of the day as you like because you've at least done something and i won't nag you rather than kind of like using it as a as a punishment twist it and use it as a reward kind of like 10 minutes of revision or whatever now and i'm not going to nag you for the rest of the day you can just play on the playstation or whatever it is for as long as you like and you're free to do so and treat it more as a reward and just kind of again re-angle it so that you're bringing them on board rather than kind of like creating punishments create rewards and show that you're trying to work with them 
and encourage them rather than trying to be the nagging parent almost. Um, just a thought. Um, I hope it is helpful. Have a great afternoon. I'm very hot. And um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. Have a great one.